Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest in Canada. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2011 Grade 7 8 Contest, Question 18. Okay, so the question is, there are 15 dwarves and elves sitting in a circle. Elves always tell the truth and dwarves never tell the truth. Each one says that they have one elf and dwarf as a neighbor. The question is, how, what, are the pos what are possible numbers for dwarves and elves? Okay, so let us assume that there is at least one dwarf. We could start with an elf too, but that would make the question much easier to, sh to show the answer. So, an, a dwarf says that he has one elf and dwarf as a neighbor. But since it's lying, it cannot have, have an elf as, and a dwarf. So it would have, there would be two cases. The first one being it has two dwarves as neighbors. And the second case being it has two elves as neighbors. this dwarf. Because it already has one dwarf as a neighbor, it has to have another dwarf as a neighbor because it cannot have an elf because that means it would be telling the truth but that can't, because that can't be because it lies. So there would have to be a dwarf. Now we would, we would do this 15 times because that's how many dwarves and elves there are. So So then the answer would come to 15 dwarves and no elves. But there, there isn't an option with 15 dwarves, so that means it cannot be this. Okay, so let's look at the second case as the dwarf having two elves as neighbors. this elf. Since it already has one dwarf as a neighbor, it has, to have enough, it has to have an elf as a neighbor now because it said that it had an elf and a dwarf and it tells the truth. So there has to be an elf. So let's look at this elf now. Because it has one elf already as a neighbor, it would have to have a dwarf now because it said that it has one elf and one dwarf as a neighbor. So now you would do this 15 times like repeating the pattern. So there are groups of three with one dwarf and two elves in it, like this. Okay, so since there's one dwarf in a group of three, you would do 15 because there are 15 dwarves and elves divided by three because groups of three which would be five. So there are five dwarves. And ten elves. If we would if we would have started with an elf, we would have had the same answer, but we would have got it right away. But now we wanted to start with an with a dwarf to make it harder. So the answer would be five dwarves and ten elves. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.rocku.ca.